rain for whipped cream in the face. Ouch. Like, oh They're that long. here on a very windy day having a little spa day and we're gonna show off shortcake especially but we can say hi to Titan Gracie how is your spa day going very wet very wet Gracie's got Titan's tail getting all washed out she did his mane the other day he looks beautimous then we got shorty over here he's gonna get his mane done too but Kiefer's working on shortcake. How's that going? Lots of hair. Definitely lots of hair, but it's going good. That's good. So the mane's all brushed out, ready to wash it. Yeah. Got her tail, too. This thing's all folded up right now, but don't let it surprise you. She's very long. She touches the ground. <laughs> Long that is. Look at her beautiful, beautiful tail. Shortcake, we're working on patience as you paw. You're not showing off for me right now. Hey. Help me out here, pal. Look at who Shortcake is standing next to. Her best friend, Shorty. Oh, that was not a best friend move. She thinks these spa days are overrated, but little does she know, she's a princess and she needs them. <laughs> It's a little cold on their butt crux. <laughs> She's like, I did not appreciate that. Sorry, shortcake. We're not making fun of you, okay? Just behind your back, literally. <laughs> that thing drags the ground. Beautimus. the consistency of her mane? Uh, odd, actually. <laughs> Very, is it thick? Is it thicker or thinner? Definitely thicker. It feels like actual human hair, not a horse hair, so I don't know. Uh, Shortcake, the mane of Rapunzel. <laughs> Very true. What down your mane? <laughs> Shorty's like, what is that? Don't spend anyone's butt, Shorty, it's rude. Isn't her tail so thick? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Be careful, you do get wet. It's so bad. Time for the conditioner.
One last rinse off. The final conditioner. Before the pretty girl gets her mane braided. So then it doesn't touch the ground because she has so much tail. Yep, 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 that's what we gotta do. <laughs> Otherwise, short kick tail. Her tail drags the ground. Alright, we'll get a tail bag and then teach everyone how to put a tail bag in. Alright, we got Kiefer right now. She is putting some stuff in Shortcake's tail. What are you putting in? So I'm putting in coconut oil in her tail right now, and then I'm going to go up to her mane. Get So we, well we, I, Kiefer, I'm videoing. Kiefer washed off Shortcake's mane and tail, and then before we get it all braided back up, we soak it up in some coconut oil. And Shortcake's owner is the one that told me about this coconut oil hack. And recently I've learned that it might be good fly repellent as well. So maybe killing two birds with one stone. So you're just, what are you doing here? Just trying to get it evenly distributed throughout her mane because she's got so much of it. But I think that's about all that we need to put in. So now we're going to braid up her tail and put a tail bag. And we have Gracie and Titan. Titan's a very cuddly guy. <laughs> All right, so Kiefer's gonna put the tail bag in for us, and she's going to show you the way that I taught her. So, when I taught you to braid, what do you gotta do? So, you find the base of the tail. So, for her, it would be right here, and you come down about a fist's length. So, you would go like this, and that's the base of the tail, and this is where you'd start your braid. But you want to make sure you do it really loose in the beginning so then it doesn't pull anything. And then you just start braiding away. And then the other thing when you're braiding the tail, I'll kind of step back to show everyone, see how you're standing, and then why are you kind of crouched down like that? Because it's so low to the ground right here, it's easier for me to get um, loose at the front and then tighter as I get down, but then once I get further down the tail, I can start to stand up and back away so then I can t continue to braid and it won't get to me. Yeah, so she's she squats low at first to help that angle and see how it's just all straight right there. And then as she braids out farther, you can stand up. So as Kiefer braids, I'm going to get some black tape and she'll show you how we use black tape to secure this. Okay, so we got a roll of black tape, and we use this to secure the tail. I'm trying to get it started yep, for you. All oily. Yeah. So, oh, that's never helpful. <laughs> never helpful when they're swishing their tail right before you're about to secure it. Come back. The flies are out, so we can't really blame her. We could put some more fly spray on. I'll hand that over, and I might help hold the tail. In case she wants to swat away, Kiefer don't lose it. Do you want me to hold it down yep, here? Yep. Okay. I'll hold the end for her. Your other hand, can you hold her tail because she's... Yep. Thanks. Okay, so I'm braiding the end of her tail and Kiefer's holding it because the flies are trying to swat and we don't have fly spray right now. So we're just going to try to hurry and get this done. So I try to braid as far as I can because then it's like protecting all the little hairs and keeping them in. And Kiefer's hands got so oily and mine are getting a little bit too. So it's kind of hard. This part's kind of hard if their tail is oily. You might need two people. But I'm going to get a new piece started. And then what I'll do with this black tape is you put some and you leave a little extra. See, I left some extra sticking out on the other end because then you can fold it. And then when it's fell, folded on each other, then I can really bend it over and start twisting it and I'll kind of have it on the roll because then on the last two wraps you can use the roll and really make them tight. 
because they're so slippery right now because of the coconut oil, I think. That's my theory. And then you just use your mouth and you break that off and voila, that's how you do your tail end. Okay, okay now Kiefer is putting the tail into the tail bag. So she'll fold it in half and then she sticks it in. Yeah, sure oh, and then on this one, the Velcro part goes behind. Uh, in the, uh, you just, there you go, yeah. Get the bag around. There you go. Nice. Sweet. This is a nice, a brand new tail bag that Shortcake's owner sent with her. So she gets to be all spiffy. Yeah. And there you go. Now for the main. Oh, yes. We're gonna go get some fly spray, and Kiefer's getting ready to maintain Shortcake's long mane. So if you want a long mane like this, it is maintenance. It is not easy. <laughs> so she is, what are you doing? Right now I'm getting all the pieces of tape. I'm putting them on the halter so then I don't have to worry about getting all my coconut fingers in the tape. She's Easier. being proactive. <laughs> and we got Gracie working on Shorty's mane. And she'll be doing the same thing so we can see how we do manes around here. How do you do, how do you braid a mane? So I take whatever is on this little arch here and leave that out. And then starting from about here, I go about an inch, maybe a little less. And then I'll separate that into three, braid that a couple times, pull up here against this so it loosens against the top of their braid, and then braid tighter all the way down. So each little section is about an inch, maybe a little less. So lots of little braids. Perfect. And the reason we do lots of little braids? So they don't rub them off. Good job. And how come we leave the part, the back part of the arch out? Uh, just so it doesn't pull and annoy on them a bunch. Yeah. It's just really rounded there, so they'd probably rip it out, but good job. Gracie braids really well. Fly spray to the rescue. I have Shorty's right larynx flap in my drawer in my parents' house in my bedroom. And Kiefer's grandpa also has something special. So my grandpa lost his thumb in a horse accident, and my mom was helping my grandma clean out their fridge. And she goes, now careful, Grant's thumb is in there, and my mom freaked out. <laughs> and to this day, we still don't know if that's true or not, but I'm thinking it is. So Grant's thumb might be in the fridge. <laughs> So those were Kiefer's pieces she pre-prepared, and Shortcake's being a very good girl now. I feel like she was just kind of annoyed from the flies. So she's standing still, and the reason this girl's mane is so much maintenance is because you got to do small pieces because you don't want your mane pulling out or getting rubbed out, and then you just like when you braid it too, you got to do it loose and do these nice wraps at the end. Oh, the reason we use black tape instead of rubber bands is because Biomain told me to. <laughs> because their theory behind it is that rubber bands kind of pinch the hair and cause breakage. Whereas these ones, it's like an even pressure distributed about like an inch or half an inch or whatever that is. And so it's not so tough on the main, but I think it works well and black tape is pretty cheap and easy to find, so we use it. Yep. What are your thoughts about main braiding at the moment? Very satisfying. It's so soft because of the coconut oil. So I like it. It's good. It's very satisfying to see it all neat. 
and Purdy. How is Shorty taking the current spa day situation? Not his favorite, not his favorite. Shorty, he doesn't love spa day, but look at how white and clean you got his mane. It's shining. Shorty's like side-eyeing me like, lady, I'd be happy with a brown poopy mane. <laughs> Mom, I was happy. Why are you doing this to me? I like when your mane's braided, Shorty. <laughs> We're on to the last melon. What show is that off of? The last melon? Yeah, you do know. You are? Ice, Ice Age. Oh, because <laughs> you, you told me about Sid the Sloth. So I was like, I know you've seen Ice Age. I don't remember that Wait, part. you remember the part where they're like, all the chickens are running around and they want one more watermelon for the little kid? It's like the oh, maybe the second or the third one, okay. and then they're like, and then they're like, the last melon. It's hard to go back. Okay, shortcake. The last melon is getting completed. Look at this. Congratulations! Good job. I mean, honestly, you did a really good job, and it seemed pretty fast, but yeah, I wasn't the one braiding either, so sometimes it seems right. longer. It feels very soft. Oh, and that is it for Miss Shortcake. dun da da dun Shorty, were you nodding yes for her? <laughs> yes? Okay. He's He just said, does that sometimes, actually. This is the chili spotlight. Chili girl! Oh yeah, we gotta clean you up for your spotlight. Come here, Chili. Go run through the well. Come here, Chili. Oh, hi, girl. Hi, girl. Oh, she's so pretty. It's so pretty. And Milo is, of course, jealous. <laughs> Milo, you gotta jump in the water. You are so. Are you hot? Go jump in the water. Oh, hi, Chubs. Hey, Chubbies. Hey, Chubby. Hey, Chubby. Hey, Chubby. Progress is looking beautiful. Shorty has a great mane. He's just not so excited about it. <laughs> You're being better now. <laughs> just me side eye. Side eye. And that wraps up our spa day for the day. Shorty's all donezo. Uh, Poppy didn't get done today, but we are gonna go inside and get some food. Snacky snack. Thanks for coming along, Spa Day, and we'll catch you next time.